What's up boys and girls and welcome back to another Black Desert Online Guide. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to effectively get Blackstones in order to help gear your character up. I get a lot of people coming into my stream asking me how do I get so many black stones and how I pump so many of them into my gear. Now, yes, granted, I may not have the best gear in the game, but with these few tips, hopefully it will help you guys to get black stones and start gearing up your first character. So, there are multiple ways in which you can actually obtain black stones, and I'm going to talk about three or four of the ways that I do it pretty much every day in this game. So, let's start with the first one, which is daily boss scrolls. These unlock when you hit level 50 on your character, and basically what they do is you'll get a quest where you have to kill some mobs, say 30 mobs at Kron Castle, and then after that you'll be given a scroll for Red Nose. Once you obtain the knowledge on the boss, you no longer have to do the pre-quest, so as you can see in this video, I'm doing Gaiath, the Goblin Chief, and I don't have to do the pre-quest for this guy because I have S rank with him. So what you want to do is get a group of 5 players who also have scrolls, it doesn't matter if they have Red Nose, the Goblin Chief, or even the Altar Imp. Any of these will do, as long as you're in a group of five which each have scrolls. Because these quests reward you with Hunter Seals. Every time you kill one of these bosses, you get one Hunter Seal. And when you actually complete the quest for your daily, you get three bundles and a Weapon Stone. Within these bundles, there is a chance for there to be more Hunter Seals, and on top of that, more Black Stones, either armor or weapon. So it's definitely worth making sure you do these every day. The daily quest for this resets at midnight. So you can pick up the next day's one at midnight. If you can't do the daily scrolls one day because you're busy, just make sure that you log on and collect the scroll from the quest. Because you can stack the scrolls up. Even if you have a scroll from the previous day, you can still do the one the following day and then have multiple scrolls which you do at one time in a group. It's also worth noting that these scrolls can drop throughout the world. You can get them off random mobs that you kill. For example, the other day I was killing Manchers for another daily quest, which I'll talk about a bit later, and he actually dropped a Goblin Chief Summon Scroll. So this meant for that day I had two scrolls instead of one. Just a little bit extra to help you gear up that much quicker. On top of the daily boss summon quests, there is also a weekly boss summon quest, which you get, funnily enough, once a week. Now, this quest will have a pre-quest to kill 100 mobs. The one that I'm doing right now was for the monastery mobs that I had to kill. You have to kill 100 of these, and then after that, you get a tree spirit summon scroll. You can also get other weekly quests for the witch and also the monastery boss. Once you've done the 100 kill quest, again, find a group of 5 players who also have the weekly scroll boss and go and do this with them. These have a higher chance of dropping black stones than the normal daily bosses, and on top of that, instead of getting three bundles, you get five. And within these bundles, there is a chance to get rarer gear, like Leverto weapons and also some other goodies. So that's pretty much it for the daily and weekly bosses. They're not very hard, and they yield pretty good loot for not very much time in having to actually do them. So make sure you're doing those first of all. Next up, we have the normal daily kill quests. You will also get these when you hit level 50, and they can be obtained from the Black Spirit. These will be kill quests to kill 100 of a specific type of mob. You can either get ones like kill 100 manchers or kill 100 giants. The one that I got today was for kill 100 manchers. So you just go over, kill 100 of those, and then after that you will get one Hunter's Seal. Finally, there is one last thing that you can do to obtain Hunter Seals, and this can obtain you a lot of them. And that is the Ancient Relic Summon Scrolls. These can be obtained by putting together five Ancient Relic Shards in a cross formation in your inventory. A plus button will then appear on the top Ancient Relic Shard. Click that and it will create a scroll. Now these shards can be obtained multiple ways. They drop randomly throughout the world and you can also get them through fishing. Although most of the time I find myself buying them off of the auction house because they're pretty damn cheap. What you want to do is get two or three of those scrolls and then find a group that also have two or three of those scrolls. What you then do is go to where the location stated. So if you click on the scroll, it will take you to where you need to go. And then you will summon the bosses. These come in three waves that you must kill. After you kill them, you get a hunter seal and potentially memory fragments. Let's just put that into perspective of how many hunter seals you can get off of this. If everyone in your group has two scrolls, that is at least 10 hunter seals. And then on top of that, when you complete the quest for your scrolls, you'll be given bundles, which you can then open for more hunter seals. If you have a group of five people doing 10 of these scrolls, then you're realistically going to get at least 20 hunter seals from doing them. Right, so now you've got a lot of hunter seals. 
but they're not really much use to you until you can actually turn them into black stones. So if you right click on the hunter seals and click NPC location, it will take you to the closest NPC which will actually convert your hunter seals into black stones. It costs two hunter seals for one black stone armor and three hunter seals for one black stone weapon. Once you've converted them into that, you're done. All you need to do now is dump them into your gear and pray to the RNG gods that you're not going to get a hell of a lot of fail stacks. There are obviously a few other ways that you can obtain black stones as well. And one of the primary ways of doing it is people grinding money and then using the money they make to buy black stones off of the marketplace. Now, I don't tend to do this too often because I'd rather use my money to buy rare items such as witch's earrings or maybe even an ogre ring in the future. But some people do it and that is another way that you can get more if you need them. Also, on top of that, if you've still got a thirst for more blackstones, then go and kill some mobs. Blackstones can randomly drop throughout the world. I haven't found any hotspots for blackstones as of yet, but it seems like Shrine and Mancha have a fairly decent drop rate for me. But make sure that you're stacked up on luck, and also some people have reported that you, if you invest energy into the nodes that you're farming at, then you do get more blackstones. But I have yet to see any confirmation of this, as it's all just hearsay. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, hopefully with you doing the daily bosses, your weekly bosses, the daily kill quests and the ancient relic scrolls, you'll be able to get plenty of hunter seals in order to upgrade your gear. If you're not sure on how you actually enhance your armor, then please do check out my guide for enhancements and transfusions. I'll leave a link for it below in the description so that you guys can easily check it out. Anyway guys, until next time, take it easy and peace out.